You know, a U.S. Navy veteran from Taylorsville thought that he would be homebound after his motorized wheelchair was stolen last week. But thanks to the police and a local company, he's on the move once again. Good for you, Taz. Rick Aaron joins us now live in the studio. Rick, I know it's a touching story. It even had people in tears today, didn't it? It absolutely did, Don. I was nearly one of them. Roy Farragan served on aircraft carriers back in the 1950s, and he's seen a lot in his time, but he never expected the surprise that he got today. Roy Farragan can walk, but at 84 years old, not very far or very steadily. So what did he say when his motorized wheelchair was stolen from the front of this Savers store last week? I ain't going to use that kind of language. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Mike Wurzland started working on getting Roy a replacement chair, and Overstock.com donated this model they surprised him with today at Taylorsville City Hall. So you need to sit in that. This is super. Is it got an overdrive? You might. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go 40 miles an hour. I always like to speed. <laughs> I don't know what he's watching say, but this is fantastic. You just, you, you don't expect this. This is just uh, beautiful. I'm just overwhelmed at the willingness that people have to step up and made, make a bad situation better. But to have a, a veteran um, and knowing that this is going to be getting his life back to normal, to you know, I think everybody up there was shedding a tear and very proud. I won't forget it. I've been doing this 20 years, and uh, I've never experienced anything like this. With just the push of his thumb, Roy Farragan was back on a roll. These things make you make you move around like you can do something. I can get on the I can get on the bus and get somewhere, and then you can take off and go, at least go for a while if you have to to go to a store. These things are something else, but to have one this good, it's all lit up. My gosh, it's like having a party. <laughs> Roy told one of the officers today that he would love to drive his new chair to Windover tonight if he could. Live in the studio, Rick Aaron, good for Utah. Great right. story, he Rick. He said he was having a party, right? So I guess Windover would be a place, but I'm not recommending go out and on that road. Roy's wheelchair made by Drive Medical cost about $1,800.